Most deaths, Gare, please. Oh, man, there's a story. Gare, please. Gare, please. Gare, please. Gare, please. Oh. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, um, it, there's, there's, get your name out there. Do interviews. Do, uh, hang out with people. Talk to people on Twitter. Be active in, uh, hitboxes and Twitch streams and YouTube comments and forums. Uh, there's really, it's just, this is a business, even if you're not in it for the money. Uh, you need to take the yeah. same steps that you would to try and make anything successful. So well, that's that's very yeah. true. Which, like you were saying before, it's actually pretty important to separate the uh, the online profile with your real life profile. I recommend. I actually found. Yeah. Yeah, I found it's actually helped me because my average gamer profile. Um, I usually want to further the plight of what the average gamer should be. Being the nice, happy guy that never has anything negative to say. Sure. And when I've been online, if I have had something negative to say, I've actually bit my tongue because I'm, you know, on my online profile or something like that. So it's actually helped me out quite a bit. Right. Well, and, that, and that's one of those things, too, is um, you got to kind of be somewhat of a personality, but try and, and don't be fake about it. But, yeah, it's, you don't yeah. necessarily, if you have a lot of stuff going on in your life, Depending on what it is, and depending on what your audience is and who you are, uh, you may not want to include that in your gaming business yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Very true. Yeah, I don't. I, I tend to not talk about a whole lot of personal stuff in life, but that's because I have nothing. <laughs> I work <laughs> and I stream. That's uh, literally all I do. Average all the, gamer. All the parties that I go to. <laughs> I don't know. I it's, I uh, it, I don't know. Everybody's different. But I, I, I do think that you should have a separation. Uh, mm -hmm. If nothing else, because there are... Let's say you do get big. Uh, there are going to be some people that are a little bit more attached. Uh, sometimes inappropriately attached to you. Um, yep. And it's good to have that separation. And that's fine. It's, uh, it's yeah. the, the online personality, you can be as big of a celebrity as, you know, a movie star or a rock star once you start getting a little bit bigger. Uh, just because, you know, you have people that look up to you for one reason or the other. And, exactly. Uh, with every situation, some people take it too far. So, just, it's good to be careful. That is good People, people don't ever think anything's going to be bad. And, 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 and I haven't had anything wrong with that. Uh, Vapid's going to come over to my ship and bring potato chips. So, that's cool. But uh, <laughs> I, just, I, I think especially if you're, uh, if you're female, it's, uh, it might be sexist. But um, just be careful. It's the same girl that puts Facebook and she tags, you know, her house and it's two in the morning. And she's like, I'm home alone tonight. All everybody's gone. I'm just going to go to sleep with the door open. You know, and it's just like, you're like, oh, my God, are you stupid? <laughs> that That's a brand new movie coming out called The Facebook Slayer. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> or, you know, all right, guys, I'm going to be uh, gone for the week. The home's going to be by itself. I hope my little chihuahua will be fine. This is where I live. Like, are you stupid? And most people are. Most people are inherently nice, but they're also very stupid. There's another lesson in life. Do not have any in-person friends. Yeah, because yeah, they're, they're bad people. Because it's like what I, I was just joking around is, uh, on Facebook. I'm just like, yeah, my wife's gone for the weekend. Time to party. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, who am I kidding? I don't have any friends. Yeah. Yeah. And then she saw the post and the party was shut down. <laughs> no, she actually texted yeah. me going, enjoy yeah, your giant, party. Giant friends off. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I um I don't know. I everybody's different. I have always kept a separation, so I think that's fine. But um I also think you should be very open too. Like, I mean you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer them. I don't um but I oh, also yeah. probably won't tell you my address. Yeah. Well, <laughs> of course, that, what, what we're trying to aim for necessary. is we're trying to aim for the more game-ish related. The story. Sure, which, which I continually pull us away from. <laughs> the, yeah, that's the story behind the gamer that isn't oh, no, like, so when did you lose your virginity of yeah. gaming? <laughs> it's, as soon as Disco Dodgeball came out, like, have you, you, have you lost this your game, game Cherry. <laughs> Got that music playing in the background. Uh, yeah, I that to that's um that's a, that's a out, real uh, pornographic music. The amount music of in balls there. to my face, <laughs> the amount of balls to my face is definitely gone up exponentially. Yes, that that's true. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ball yep. contact nowadays. Yep. And it's been very positive experience, somewhat <laughs> exhilarating. Yeah. Damn it! I don't want to be yellow anymore. Don't make uh. me. Oh. 
Well, that was a lucky shot. So I just you can actually to... change that in the options if you want. <sighs> so I just That's have like to two check away. my email because Eric just <laughs> messaged me. You're going to complain about it. It's okay. I just killed you, so you have time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> up! Up! Ah, oh, you're kidding. No, oh, turtle! <laughs> turtle! Turtle! Why turtle! Why me? Turtle Ow. stew! No, it's not. doesn't have that much uh, oomph to it. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Um... Things and stuff. The, the community is awesome. I love it. I love playing video games. I love meeting new people. Um, it's I, I really have very little to complain about when it comes to the community. And, and what uh, complaints I probably could think up would be minimal and not actually even worth complaining about. So it's it's good. Things yeah. are good. So I just checked my email and uh, Eric just sent me five keys for Disco Dodgeball. Nice. So I, I, I'm gonna be already nearly eight. Ouch. I can give away four. Nice. So what we'll what we can do and is and one uh, copy of uh, at least one copy of AE Heart. Yeah. So we have uh, a copy of AE Heart, and we have uh, four copies Aww. of Disco Dodgeball. So I guess it's more of not you know a contest or giveaway or anything it's more of whoever doesn't have disco dodgeball just just kind of mention well, it why not hang on, hang on, hang on. What? why don't we do whoever wins the round what whoever wins the round gets a copy of the game gets to what but i already have a copy of the game yeah well i mean the three of us yeah um did i don't know if you know this but everybody that's playing the game has a copy of the game uh well yeah <laughs> but not any heart oh any heart yeah that makes sense <laughs> Killer Peachy, uh, you do not have Disco Dodgeball. You're not my friend anymore. Mm -hmm. It's okay, you, Peachy. I love you still. Uh, until you uh, <laughs> let me give you a copy of Disco Dodgeball, oh, you then, me then I'll be your friend. Oh, you still oh! me. Ah! <laughs> Classy and defeat. Bye. Suck it, everybody. Oh, my place. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. It tastes like burning. <laughs> I promised it to you forever ago. Oh, no, see, uh, Peachy, it's not you. It's not my fault that you never got back to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who's first? Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> well, uh, who doesn't? Who doesn't still have Disco Dodgeball in chat? There's a couple people. Uh, my mod doesn't. <laughs> All right, well, well, do you want a copy of Disco Dodgeball so I can beat that guy? Yes. Because there are four. There are. <laughs> oh, oh uh, that's just an amazing tweet, Sorceress. <laughs> um, well, how about this? Uh, I'll p I'm going to pick up two copies as well. And uh, whoever whoever uh, doesn't get them, I'll, I'll give out a couple copies too. Okay. of uh, Disco Dodgeball. Sounds good. Yeah, everybody yeah. needs Disco Dodgeball. Because this game is amazing. A lot of fun. It's, it's one of the ones that you want to play with friends. You can play it single player with bots, but I recommend with friends for sure. Well, yeah, it's good to it's, it's like good to play with uh, bots just because uh, they're so much harder, yeah, and it gives you a bit of an idea of how much uh, how hard the game can get if a person is actually fairly decent at it. Mm -hmm. If you're good at first person shooters, then you yeah. might actually have a chance at this game because that was what mm -hmm. Eric originally said. Uh, hey. He said that with this game, he wanted yeah, he wanted to make a first-person shooter that was less about uh, like Ow. spraying bullets at everybody and more about you know focusing on what you currently have. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's, it's it's one of the ones that you do actually have to kind of pay attention to, kind of a, a feel uh, the pace of your momentum and your trajectory a and little bit. You the can't other just thing kind of is that you cannot out. camp in this game. Because uh, if you camp in no. this game, you're not going to get any points. You're dead. And, <laughs> and you'll probably get killed anyway. All right, so I picked up a couple stand. copies of the game. So um, they, uh, whoever you guys feel can win a couple copies, uh, let me know. And then I'll, I'll, I'll get their email and I'll send them the humble key as well. Okay, so we'll just... Because it's a nice... Uh, oh, I haven't even got a score yet. I need to kill one person. Come on. Come on, one person. Oh, I didn't even grab a ball. There we go. Burp. That does not help the situation. <laughs> Ooh. 
But yes, I. Being a tribes fan, you must. I have four copies, and we'll figure out <laughs> who needs one and go from there. Nice. We originally were gonna do contest like bet betting on the players, <laughs> mm. but I don't know. <laughs> it's just easier to just oh, man, give it to like give it to people. Just let me get one. Yeah, like Ugh. there's uh like Twitch and OB or not Twitch, but uh, Twitch and Google Chrome have uh, some uh, like I have like uh, giveaway mods and apps and stuff like that that are really nice for that stuff, but. Uh, without those, it's probably better, you know, either use a random number generator or just, you know, if we have enough copies, give them to whoever doesn't have the game. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those games, it's, it's on sale right now for five bucks on his site. Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty cheap. It's it's like the, a lot of the games I've been playing lately um, that are just, you know, I mean, it's it's five dollars. You're going to get five dollars out of it, for sure. Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, I just, I just broke Skype. <laughs> right, Ouch. Just gotta sh turn off that for a second because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to break it. Mwah. Gare, please. Gare, please. Gare, Gare, please. Come on. Players. Oh, God. Gare and Turtle. Double teamed. Do, 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 do. All right, putting in some music. <laughs> I turned off the music because I've been having some issues with the YouTube. So uh, usually this has some super awesome music, but you don't get to hear it. Mm. This has uh... amazing music. For the people that are currently watching, this has some of the best music. Oh, it's still not doing it. Come on. Work with me. Work with my purple. Oh, there we go. All right. My one point is going to beat everybody. Once I get 14 more points, then I'll totally beat everybody. Long oh, my ass. <laughs> oh, snizzap. Oh, my squiggly splooch. You got a squiggly scrooge? Oh. Oh, yeah, buddy. Everybody should. Because oh, I was the turkey all along. Oh. Well, I am the walrus. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. Cuckoo, could you? Wow. Yeah. I wish my wife would watch this footage just geeked out. Yeah, that was about like four <laughs> different decades of quotes going on right there in one conversation. You got to keep it fresh. And by fresh, I mean you got to say the same stuff over and over again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do that crap all the time. <laughs> None of my commentary is fresh or even coherent. I just found out about a gonna... brand new line that everybody's using. It's called Boom Goes the Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go pick up the BFG 9000 here and uh, shoot the end. That's the best, best weapon ever. Oh, God. Speaking of which, Doom 4 Beta, if you uh, sign up or, or if you buy the new Wolf of Sign, you get Doom 4 Beta. Oh. Now, what well, are they going no for when it comes to the uh, animation style? Is it going to be still like Doom 3 new graphic? Or are they going back to like the uh, roots? I would assume so. I doubt it's going to be two dimensional planes like the originals. Um, but I, I believe they're going to go back more to Doom 1 and 2 Ultimate Final and all that stuff. Because uh, Doom 3 was kind of a flop overall. Uh, the original Doom players like myself, uh, we wanted Doom 1 and 2. Oh, yeah. It, we didn't want new mainstream Doom. Which, it, it was okay, but it wasn't Doom. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, was, I wouldn't mind trying it with the Oculus. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I would, Doom 1 and 2 on the Oculus, Rick? Would you throw up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like Paranormal. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. No, it's... Nostalgic asms. Between barfing, yeah, all <laughs> that. Yeah, because yeah, I um, uh, all those old games were great. Duke Nukem, Shadow Warrior. Uh, you know, I shoot. I even played Chex Quest, which was great. You, you got that game. It was a. It was pretty much a Doom wad about you shooting, uh, or not shooting. You were saving. I think like the little Chex pieces and aliens. And <laughs> it was. It was great. It's those. Have, those you, old uh, have you tried the? The new Shadow Warrior? Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I've been enjoying it. I'm, like, three quarters of the way through. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I, I played it a couple times. I didn't finish it. I'm, I'm kind of notorious about starting a bunch of games and not always finishing them. But it's Jay really good. Z's. Really good. Mm -hmm. So, what games are you looking forward to that are being developed right now? Oh, yeah, the original Duke Nukem platformer. Commander Cool. We're going to do that. We're going to go back to that. Yeah. Um. Honestly, uh, I'm in the minority uh, of looking forward to stuff. Oh, nice. Good game. Yay. GG, care GG. please. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm all about, like, when games come out, they come out, and I'm surprised about them. I, I find that looking forward to them is terrible because it never comes out when it needs to. Um, <laughs> and then in the same extent, I'm so busy with games, I, I don't have time. Like, honestly, like, Dark Souls 2 is probably the one game that when that comes out, I'm stopping whatever I'm doing and I'm playing it. Uh, one, because uh, potential spoilers. Uh, but two, mostly, I'm just I'm really hyped about it. Um, yeah, totally. That'll be one of the games that honestly it will take over Twitch. It will, Twitch will stop doing whatever they're doing, and a good majority are going to be playing Dark Souls two. It's one of those two that. Um, oh, so true. Start, start, start streaming Twitch, and type in your title, uh, first time playing Dark Souls, and stream that, and you'll have five thousand people in your chat watching and making fun of you. <laughs> and 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 spoiling stuff too. But, oh uh, yeah, it's uh that is one of those big ones like Binding of Isaac, which still kind of is, but used to be. You played Binding of Isaac if you wanted viewers. Um, oh yeah, Spelunky I would say is one of those that are is kind of big. I think still. I think Bananasaurus and, uh, Rex has the uh, has the market on that. <laughs> oh yeah, he he just hit a new uh, top score world record. Yeah, uh, I, I watched the end of that. Three point one mil. Yeah. It only took him seven and a half yeah. hours. Yeah, and it was I, uh, it was actually funny because he did, it was uh, started by accident because he was in yeah, one one yeah. opens a crate and he gets the was it called the plasma gun? That yeah, was called. It yeah. was because uh, he didn't he was he was wrapping up the stream too because I was I was lurking I popped back in and he's like oh god guys are we really gonna do this I'm I'm tired I don't really want to do it <laughs> all right fine we'll do it and then then the next day I hear oh he got a world record I was like jeez. Yeah, he took yeah, him, Bananasaurus Rex is a cool guy. Took him seven and a half hours to do that. Oh, oh yeah. boy! Like, and if even at really the very end, guys. even at the very end, he was still going. Like his his uh, dexterity in the game was mind boggling. Like I play that for twenty minutes, and I'll I won't even be able to like fall off a cliff because I'll keep grabbing onto things. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of those games like others. Uh, muscle memory and knowledge of the game and repetition can make big differences. Um, I really don't feel there's too many games out there that if you just try your hardest at and you play and you practice it, you'll be good. Uh, now, world records, don't know about that, but uh, honestly, it's uh, he's he's impressive watching it. It, it. it almost looks like he's having like tool assisted movement. It's it's really it's great. Yeah, I watched him. I was like, how is he doing this? Other than the fact that he's played <laughs> for thousands of hours now, apparently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> for oh yeah, bravely default. Uh, Tenlin, uh, Telenon says. Oh yeah. I, I hear uh, that is the game. the most amazing RPG on a DS or handheld ever. One most of the friends easy. that I uh, one of the friends that I LARP with is completely obsessed with that game right now. Oh, you LARP? That's so cool. That yeah. is the <laughs> one nerd thing I've never done. I mean, it I can was... tell you about Dungeons and Dragons for days, but I've never LARPed. I played second at D and D for like ten years. Nice. But LARPing was my one line in the sand that I promised myself I'd never do. <laughs> Yeah, right, Until right. my wife begged me to do it. <laughs> oh, well, shit, even better then. There you go. Yeah, it's hard to say no. <laughs> yeah, gamer. See, that's, we. I think we like kind that of shot? discussed yeah. earlier. It's, man, gaming Gaming uh, relationships are the coolest. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys going to go do today? We'll go see a movie? No, we're going to LARP. <laughs> what are movies? <laughs> what are these moving <laughs> pictures you speak of? In, back in... I'll bring up the the game that everybody hates me for bringing up, but back in Burning Crusade and World of Warcraft, we used oh, to sure. have our quality time was right. uh, uh, raid nights. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, That's yeah, so we used cool, to leave. The... It, it's a lot of fun. I mean, she's always been a gamer. We met on a text-based RPG. Oh, she's nice. named after a comic book character, and yeah, it... she's got a geeky family. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No. If, if you're meeting people on text-based uh, games, yeah, you're. 
you're at a whole different level, which is awesome. The only claim to fame I have with uh, that game, because that's <laughs> I, I I started that game. My I played one character on that game for over five thousand hours. Uh, World of Warcraft. Yeah. Damn, man. I, no, no, I, no. The I, the, uh, the text adventure. Yeah. Sorry, the text adventure. The text yeah, adventure. Yeah. Which game was it? It was called Darkening Sun. Oh, I see. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, it was. Um, it it was fairly popular at the time. Like, it wasn't one of the biggest ones. It had uh, about thirty people on at its uh, in its heyday. But I played it from uh, nineteen ninety eight till two thousand four, and I played the same character for almost that long. <laughs> That's cool. By the time that That's... the game shut down, my character was ten years old in real life. Oh man, that's awesome. Yep. It's almost that's, weird see, like, to think about that. And that's I, I make a slight distinction between different genres of gamers. There's the, the quote unquote casuals, there's the Call of Duties, there's the sports genres, yeah. there's the hardcore RPG nerds. Like I'm I, I kinda fit in a little bit of all of those, but there's the text based adventure people <laughs> that just blow the people away. And I and I love those. Don't get me wrong. Um, I was uh, uh, oh the um, developer of Wanderlust uh, Afterbirth or uh, Adventures. I was calling Afterbirth, uh, which is a terrible goddamn name. But uh, Rebirth <laughs> and Adventures, and um, he did uh, a lot of development on Risk of Rain. Left. He was playing oh, yeah. uh, Wizardry Seven the other day, and I was. We were just talking about that. I, mean, I was. I fell in love. I just I was watching this game and it's little bleeps and bloops and colors and it was amazing. It's, it's yeah. Those old games are great. They really are. Well, they're coming back too a little bit. Like you look at one yeah. of the ones, Quarries of Scred. Yes. Quarries oh, yeah. of Scred uh, is like 1980s. Uh, amazing developer. Yeah, DOS kind of game, but Ooh. it's so fun and so damn frustrating. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, rocks fall on my head throughout <laughs> that game. I can't even make it to the next damn screen without having something fall on my head. There's I'm really the thing, bad. I didn't even know there is another screen. I just thought there was one screen. Oh yeah. Until yeah, I learned I'm, that there's I'm, five I'm one screens. Of the, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a possibility when you play it, I'm one of the um, shopkeepers, I guess. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's cool. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, Darkest Kale on uh, Twitter uh, made that game, yep. and yep. if I remember, let me see, a quarter of Scred's like two dollars and seventy-five cents American, because he's Australian as well as Indie Mouse, which I mentioned earlier. Oh, okay. So it's three dollars Australian. So I mean that it's so cheap, and for people that don't like the way it looks, there's other different, um, there's different skins on it. That can make it look differently. Oh, I didn't know like, that. Like, uh, there's updated ones. There's like metallic-looking ones, which I really like. Um, it's really cool. That is cool. Yeah, because uh, actually, it's, we are trying to set up a time where we're actually going to do a play and chat with him. But oh yeah. The only no, thing that's really been the cool. issue is that because he's Australian, uh, we have to do it on a completely separate date. Right. So it might actually be a pre-recorded yeah, or yeah. straight to YouTube, but we still want to do that. Yeah, I, I said everybody like, could join us at like three in the morning. Or that, yeah. <laughs> or um, also talk to a guy on Twitter. I, I, I'm I'm name dropping all over the place Go like a jackass, it. but um, <laughs> hopefully it helps you guys and 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 the developers because it doesn't help me at all. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk to no, no, worthless bums. He mm. made uh, Steam uh, Steam Marines. It's a turn-based strategy oh. RPG. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. I was lots. looking at that one actually. Yeah, it's and, and this leads me to another point of. Uh, for those that are out there that want to stream and YouTube and stuff, but don't have powerful wigs, play these games. Not only are they cheap, but they don't require a lot of uh, power to run. Yeah, I mean, like Quarries of Spread literally could probably be run on the ColecoVision. You know, it's 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 how it's just the way it is. So, I mean, for those that you know play just demos and stuff like that on Xbox, you guys can play these games for five bucks. You know, it's a full game. Yeah, that's the best part about you streaming nowadays is that hey, you don't have to spend almost you, no money first of all with things like OBS where it's free and then there's also games that cost almost nothing as well <laughs> yeah. so or, or nothing there are a couple free games that are like really good quality too yeah or like if you get on like on the indie levels like a lot of times talk to indie people if you're starting out a lot of times they're pretty good um, you gotta find the right ones but you can probably get like maybe a free copy to play 
And if you play it enough, like like Black Ice, uh huh, like Maximus said, good to see you, Maximus. Yeah. Um, what they might game. end up giving you a full copy if you cover it a lot too, you know. So it's. Yep. There's we actually did a, a playing chat. We did a playing chat with um, uh, Black Ice. What was his name? It's a. Uh, I can't remember his name. It's a uh, Super Duper Garrett Cooper. Is that it? Yeah, Super Duper Garrett Cooper. <laughs> We did a plane chat with him. Though. Yeah, that was our last one. And if you go to uh, youtube.com slash average giants, we have two videos up. One for Black Ice and one for AE Heart. They're both long, oh, nice. but they're both quite uh, quite fun to watch. If you're willing Woo! if you're willing to watch something that's about, uh, the, the length of a movie. But oh, turtle! It, it'll be just like this, where it's one long thing, but it's incredibly informative and have lots of fun and some really stupid fun stuff in there that's like for example with the AE heart there's one point where we just decide to ham it up while uh, doing some voice acting for some of the for some of the uh, dialogue and it was absolutely awful but it was so funny oh yeah <laughs> no, I I um yeah if you if you don't put uh dialogue into your game you can't complain about people that uh do really bad covers of it because <laughs> most of us are not good voice actors so you get what you well, get what i did is that i they're just like oh you do your voice i'm like or no sorry average gamer was trying to do a bad impression of my voice so i'm like is that how i sound and so i just started to ham mm -hmm. it up and go even further from that which was is that how I sound? nice <laughs> then i started being like what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh my god, Steve. Steve, did you just make a Mystery Science Theater reference? Yes, he did. I love you forever. Basic Rondo. Holy crap. Well, we made those two. Which one he was came it from the done? East to do battle with the Amazing Rondo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we'd be on Neptune or Mars or Neptune. Mm -hmm. Or Neptune. <laughs> Subtle, Steve. Subtle. <laughs> Very subtle. No, it's it's uh, there's I don't know. It's video games are amazing. I love them. Yeah, completely agree. I, I love agree the people too. that I meet while playing them. Oh my butt! I have to make a I have to make a confession. I'm not actually a gamer. I'm actually a mm -hmm. chartered accountant. Nice. Well, there you go. We'll we'll, we'll go with that for now. No, it's I'm just okay. kidding. I'm just... <laughs> Although. I'd say what? before I started my illustrious career in Let's Playing, I was I was uh, about as close to a gamer as a chartered accountant. I would I'd be like totally into uh, playing some Facebook games, oh. but <laughs> that was about it. I was really good at the Facebook games. Hence the uh, text-based game. <laughs> yeah. Or that. Or text-based. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got you into that. That's in high school. What? Remember that Soul Calibur in high school? Oh, Soul Calibur Whoa. in the break room. That was awesome. Yep. The I'm fact that they let that. us uh, take the 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 school TV that was on wheels and bring it in there. That was great. Oh, I guess I should play. <laughs> oh. Why are we jealous of Steve? Oh, he was watching Mr. Sensei. Yeah. I need to become a pirate, but I'm trying not to become a pirate. But it's so hard to find Mystery Science Theater if you're not a pirate. Yeah. With Canadian Netflix, it's just... Ugh. But I haven't pirated since Napster, and I don't really want to start. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah it's totally see. evil. Told, you're so evil if you do. No, 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 no. I, I don't mind if people pirate and shit. I just <laughs> don't. Let's see. I know they're for sale. Really? You just go on Amazon and buy yeah. them. Yeah, I'm oh, looking up I'm, Amazon right except now. Except for actually. go on American Amazon because it's better. Canadian Amazon actually sucks really bad. Why? Um, It's just a library. Mm. It's literally just a library. Like. It's... Oh, nice. Uh, a lot of the Mystery Science Theater, if you're a Prime member, you can stream it for free. Oh. That's yeah. interesting. Zero, zero, zero. Huh. So, yeah, you guys, if you can get into uh, Amazon Prime, uh, otherwise it's like two ninety nine to rent each one. Nine bucks yeah. to buy. So 
So yeah, if you're a Prime member, you can uh, unlimited streaming for I think all the Mystery Science Theater stuff. Damn, I was Zombie Nightmare, that. Santa Claus. I'm starting to yeah. think that we we are because we're Canadian that it doesn't that we don't get to do that. Oof. It's quite possible. It's I'm... also my student budget that just killed <laughs> me. Crap. Yeah. Get, everybody should. Everybody spend eight dollars to get Netflix if you can get it. That that is. Oh amazing. yeah. Oh, that's the other problem. Yep. You have American Netflix, which is good. We have Canadian Netflix, Snap. which is mediocre at best. Oh wow, that sucks. Yeah, the, the content we have, like, difference. Uh, titles, and you guys have like thirty thousand titles. Yeah, it's like we have Night Court. I think that's it. <laughs> If you, if you want to watch Night Court, that's, wow. that's what there is. The, fucking, the references in this stream tonight are just blowing my mind. So I just picked up like a new. Somebody's gonna uh, make a joke. I just picked somebody's up a new make show. A joke and I'm gonna be like, ha ha, I kill me. <laughs> I just picked up a new show. It's called L.A. Law. You should see the hair. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing that I remember from my childhood, is that was the one show that my mom would not miss. Yeah, oh yeah, the, back in the day, I mean, you had no way of recording, even even before VHS and stuff like that, you you either watched it then or you were screwed. Yep, yep. that's pretty much it. But... Alright chat, since we're doing, like, horrible references right now, uh, without using Wikipedia or IMDB, who can tell me what Courtney... What's her name? Monica from Friends, her first... Her first role in Hollywood. Does anybody know? Well, I don't know what her first one was. That's for sure. <laughs> um, she was a teenager. I don't believe you. I don't think she ever anybody? was. Yeah. <laughs> anybody? Anybody know? Bueller. Gonna... Yes. No. Bueller. Double kill. That would be funny. Uh, but since nobody's answered, no. Her first spot. She was the love interest. In the Key Man Masters of the Universe live action movie. Oh god, that I should have known that. Why didn't I know that? <laughs> it it was so terrible. I believe Dolph Lundgren was uh, Key Man. Yes, he was. It sounds just right. To, it was yeah, awesome. Just to put it in perspective. Come on, it was amazing. Awesome for what? Like 1982? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, did you watch? Did you ever watch uh, Captain America from the eighties or seventies or whatever? Mm. Oh God, yeah, yeah. So it how about the yep. uh, how about Fist of the North Star live action? That's awesome. Yeah, never saw. <laughs> it. Or no, I was thinking. It's awful and good at the same time. I I, yeah. I like bad movies, but yeah, it's it's pretty awful. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh dear. <laughs> Hey, so the if you're ever bored, yeah. look up where um, all the original Power Rangers are now. Oh yeah, they they have some very interesting and varied careers now. Yes, well, except for one yes. of them, that was, except which is for a very the yellow. Ranger. Yeah, the Yellow Ranger. She yeah. died in a car accident, but that's that's it. That's the worst one. Oh, that's sad. I didn't know yeah, that. it's kind of sad. I mean, it is. Yeah. It, it's sad. It happened a couple of years ago. And then what is oh, it? The, take that turtle. the Red Ranger is in gay porn now. I think it is. Oh really? Yeah. I think the Green Ranger is. Um, oh, he he's in the uh, he UFC was, now. Was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember one of them made it pretty big martial arts wise. Yeah, he's so I he's, guess it was he's green big one. in the martial yeah. art or the UFC now or the MMA. Um, I think one of them went to jail. I think the nerd one went to jail. Kitsu, the the first Guyver movie was amazing, and the second Guyver movie was even better. And what? the anime is like one of my favorites. Oh, we saw the live action Guyver. So we saw the live action Guyver. So good. That so was so good. That was on par so good, with right? He Man and so the Masters good. of the Universe. Just so you know that. <laughs> If you come, if you're saying that the Guyver Except is good, that it was actually good, you have to say Masters of the Universe live action was also good. No, no, that was terrible. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I remember that. I think I watched it with you. We're just like we're gonna watch the Guyver. I'm like, okay, whatever. It is. Actually, no, I think oh, I watched. Sure I force Alexander. Actually, I might have watched it on my own. Because I watched that with uh, our other buddy Derek back from junior high. I might have been there. Though. Or no, elementary. Oh, never mind. I wasn't sure there because I, I didn't know no. you guys because you were in the rich schools in the south. 
Mm-hmm. What? You and your rich... You were in the rich school. Rich schools in your the South? Your teachers drove Mustangs. Uh, anyway, this is a little off topic. Not in elementary. <laughs> when I was in elementary, I was in the Northeast. I was in the ghetto. Oh, God. Gare, please. Gare, plus. Gare, plus. Plus, Gare. Mm-hmm. Chocobo has a good point. Imagine if you were in the UFC, and you're like, yeah, my next bout is against the Green Power Rangers. Yeah. I'd be That'd scared. Be I, I'd actually be intimidated. I'd be like, dude... You're my idol from when I was ten, and then he beats the <laughs> shit out of you, and you're just like, "Oh yeah, that's, I guess." That's the reason you joined the UFC is because you watched Power Rangers when you were like five. <laughs> yeah, that would totally do it. Be like, I want to be a, I want to be a Power Ranger. This is the closest I'm ever gonna get. I want to be the very best. That's Pokemon. Like, right that. uh, like no one ever was. Oh. Oh, I think Tenchi died. Yep. Floaty. What happened, actually? Yeah. <laughs> you disappeared on us. I disappeared. I was about to picnic. That's okay, I'm killing Turtle. As long as I kill Turtle, I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I love you, Turtle. You're my best friend. <laughs> Please don't throw balls in my face. <laughs> yeah, Turtle, you are our mortal enemy, but we love you. Yep. Oh crap. Damn it. Hey oh what? <laughs> That's the other good part. That's the other good part yeah. about this game is that you make lots of weird noises playing it. Mm. Certain games are easier to stream because they'll they'll pull a reaction from you. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. Just... Some of the games I've been playing lately, I, I've been enjoying them. Heroes of Might and Magic 3, um, Wizardries and stuff like that, which are great fun, but I think sometimes they're not the best for streaming because there's yeah, totally. there's not a whole lot of stimulation, I guess, going on. Yeah, this is a streaming game. Yeah. Also, Chocobo, you just got the Clash stuff in my head. Was Chocobo <laughs> Dungeon any good? It was a roguelike. I kind of feel I like I missed out on that. I have not tried it myself. Yeah. I've heard a lot about it. I've yeah, heard it was, that it's good. Yeah, it, I believe it to be good. It's it's a it's an old old school roguelike with uh, the Chocobo. So it's got to be good. Yeah. You get to play as Red the Juba. Chocobo? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, where's that from? Everybody should know that. Snack pack. <laughs> hey, that's a personal reference. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, oh, okay. I'll that turtle. Let's give you the story behind that. Um, this was Computers. high school, and for some reason, for some odd reason, okay, somebody, one of our friends, pulls out a snack pack, and for even more Stupid of a strange reason, inside. I all of a sudden just go snack pack. What the frick? And then, and that became a thing. For yeah, us. that was the thing. <laughs> well, there was a bunch of things when it came to us in high school, like uh, Razel, the Godfather of Noise. Except in a very, very yep. dirty way. Uh, what else? Oh. Yep. Double kill. Uh, kicking Derek in the junk. Yeah, that was a thing. Uh, what else? <laughs> oh, I can't let you win, Turtle Stew! Ah! Ow! No! <laughs> you should have tried to kill Turtle! He killed me first! <laughs> huh? D- do you see that? Winner turtle stew, most deaths turtle stew. <laughs> oh, hey, the uh, the Need for Speed movie is coming out in theaters in March. Oh, Does, I it doesn't see look that. that good. Like, I'll see it, but it's... Mm. Well, how many yeah, Fast and Furious was... have been good? They've been entertaining. Well, they, they rebooted this series. It's actually like an action movie now, which is, you know, if you like that, it's not bad. Yeah, I actually yeah. called it's, it... It's uh, less of what it used to be. It was Ocean's Eleven with cars. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. That's about Those, the, I think of Need for Speed, I remember I I played a Need for Speed 2 back in the day when it was like mm-hmm. wireframe on like my 286. <laughs> it's good shit, but as a movie? You know what I want to see? Yeah, it would be interesting. I want to see Carmageddon mm-hmm. in a movie. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. They I, just put it on the app store. Carmageddon's out there mm-hmm. now? 
Actually, oh, that man. was a nostalgic half an hour of my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some played, of those don't always age well. Uh, I play Kirby again way too much. Yeah, me too. It was just so much the fun fact because that you could of their replays. Because what? Because you could save replays and then show your friends all the stupid shit. Oh yeah. Oh my That's goodness. That's right. Yeah, those the replays were the best thing. I uh, laughing about those for days. For days. Uh, apparently, I need to pick up Skate Three because that's pretty much the same thing as Carmageddon. Just so much. I've been wanting to play that one. Ow. Okay, so um, basically, at this point, the uh, the the. Uh, live stream is sort of winding down and we're gonna wrap it up in 10 minutes so how about we try to finish this game fairly quickly then we'll start giving giving away some uh some games all right yeah i think i'll just keep it off for myself yep there that'll work too oh that's fine i have the email full of keys so i mean it's like i'll just i'll just uh give them all to myself <laughs> there you go <laughs> technically you gave them away then yeah, I gave them to myself. I, I felt like I deserved yep. them. Yeah. And I'm going to buy five different computers to use all of the keys. Nice. nice. <laughs> well, you have a plan, so that that's what that's the that's the main thing. Yep. Yep. I'm going to spend <clears throat> six... As well, guys, if you did like the show, make sure to follow us. Make sure to follow us on Hitbox, because it does make a huge difference for us. <laughs> yes. The more people, the merrier. Plus, also check out our, our uh, YouTube, because... This, as well as all of our other uh, playing chats, will be available on there. We also provide written transcripts of all of our playing chats for a small fee. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, which Mighty Giant will be transcripting for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah good luck with that. <laughs> no, what I'll do is that I'll yeah. just what I'll do is I'll put it into YouTube and then I'll just uh, turn on the closed captioning. <laughs> and there you go. So that it'll be just random gibberish. Yeah, pretty much. But I just remember that all of the TV oh shows gosh. back in the day, they are always like, if you'd like a written transcript of this show, please send a pre-posted yeah. blah 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 to do be Imagine... Kitsu says, Twisted Metal, Tarantino movie. Did you guys see it? I'd watch it. I would so watch it. I would love to see Tarantino do um, Sweet Tooth. Yeah. Jeez. Oh boy. Knowing that him, dialogue. he'd he'd probably be Calypso or something. Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> that'd be that would uh, that'd be good fodder for a movie. Uh, it probably wouldn't be able to pull it off very well. Anybody in general, no. but it would it'd be a good movie. You know I think. who would do a really they, good job on that? Uwe Ball. <laughs> Uwe Ball would totally oh God. do a good job he, on that. He already has a license for it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, he I'm sure it. he does. God. He's waiting for the right moment when people forget who he is. Yeah, so he has a chance of making some money. I watched... Honestly, he makes this Mario Brother movie look good. <laughs> I loved that movie. Street yeah. Fighter movie, I liked a lot too. Oh, oh I love so the good. Street Fighter movie. Mortal Kombat's for the go... best, but still. Mortal Kombat, yeah, it was yeah, awesome yeah. when you were a kid. You go back to watch it, and you're just like, this is martial arts? Hell yeah. I mean, it's, it's, even, it's in the Kombat, Kombat, even in the Matrix, I mean, Neo still, he, he was doing some... You know, decent martial arts, but he was still like novice level when they were filming it. So <laughs> then you look back at Mortal Kombat, and you're just like, they're not doing anything. <laughs> the uh, he did pretty well in uh, shoot, was it the man, the man of Tai Chi, the man from Tai Chi? Uh, recent. Oh yeah, I just saw actually. that not long ago. I heard it was coming over to um, our theaters. Oh nice. Yeah, do you know he directed that? Mm hmm. That's crazy. I don't yeah, think I've he, ever heard of this. What is this? It's a uh, it's a uh, neo movie. Type G. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that blew my mind almost as hard as when I heard that Sylvester Stallone wrote Rocky One and Two. <laughs> he um he did Expendables too, right? Yeah, he did yep. Expendables yes, One did. and Two. That one is more believable to me. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I love those movies. They're so much fun. You just got Terry Crews at the end of the first one just shooting an automatic freaking shotgun to AA and just just yelling. I was like, this is great. That was one of the best but yeah, one uh, of the best shots. Him just you just see a bunch of guys flying backwards through a hall yeah. and then him walking with his automatic shotgun. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yep. 
But yeah, it's uh, Man of Tai Chi. It's uh, Keanu Reeves. I don't know if you wrote it. I would assume he probably did. But he directed it, so. and he's in it. Uh, but the main character is uh, Tiger Chen, oh. so, who's a, a po very popular martial artist. Cool. Yeah, it's a really cool movie. It's awesome fight scenes. Yeah, I recommend it to just about anyone. I shall watch it. If you're a Keanu Reeves fan like I am, uh, you, you should watch it. I do enjoy Keanu Reeves. One of my favorite movies yeah, is he's... Constantine. Nice. That was so... Oh, yeah, God. Was... They're supposedly making a second, but it's been a few years. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if there's any truth in that anymore. My uh, my wife actually knows the dude that does the art for Constantine, uh, Hellblazer. She's oh, a, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, she's a comic Taking artist. That's trash. awesome. Yeah, the, um, it's like, once again, the community, you meet amazing people. Doesn't matter what community is. Uh, you meet yep. really cool people as long as you're not, yep, exactly. you, you need to be able to be out there and be like, all right, yeah, I want to meet people. If, if you don't want to meet people, um, you're going to miss out. <laughs> then you won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like yeah, to party. Really Triple kill. I like yeah. to party. I want to party, too. <laughs> Hi, the, my um, name is Nick, yeah. and I like to party. Hold <laughs> well, the <enough. laughs> Uh, Shall we give out some keys? Yes. How yes, do we want to do that? Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's let's stop the game for uh, a moment. I'm not gonna get out of it. I'm just gonna not disconnect. We're just okay, gonna stop for a moment and uh, ah. Okay, so first of all, who here does not have disco dodgeball that wants disco dodgeball? Just put me or raise your hand if you have one. Yeah, raise your hands, please. Raise your raise your e hand. Or clap. Clap. Clap, clap please. For us. <laughs> How will we giving it out? Will be by okay, the applause so meter. Kitsunima and uh, Killer Peachy and Tillin on Towers and who is the last one who would like it? <laughs> Children of the world, clap your hand! Hey! Oh God! <laughs> Children of the world, come to my that's house. That's my <laughs> that's my happy laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, I'll, well, I shall give away three right now. Don't kill me. And I got a couple copies if you Don't want kill to. me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, man, I didn't know Eric added, uh, what is it? Turtle was on a killing spree, and he totally, like, NBA jammed it up. He was on nice. fire. That's so cool. Um, wait a minute. How am I going to do this? <laughs> I guess I need emails. <laughs> yeah, probably get an email and then send them either the humble bundle or the, yeah, the I have, uh, code. I have humble, humble bundle codes. Um, oh wait, maybe if nice. I do this, hold on a second. Oh, gear, please. Gear, please. Gear, please. Gear, gear, please. Um, oops, don't want to do that. Oh, uh, Chocobo might want to copy actually. Okay, so that's all four taken up. And for A E Heart, if anybody. Once you copy that. A.E. Heart uh, is awesome. <laughs> okay. And for that one, I will just give uh, the email addresses to Steve. Ah, oh, my face! <laughs> Turtle C. Steve. Oh, snap! Really? I missed? Oh! Mm -hmm. Yep! Yeah. Oh! Ultra kill! What you guys got? I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Literally! <laughs> Oh, I'm not up. <laughs> there we go. Everybody that uh, all, all f four of you uh, send a uh, send me an email to send an email to uh, average giant show at gmail dot com and I will send you a key, and that will be super duper awesome. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I was doing so well. <laughs> None of this! I'm going on a rampage! <laughs> Get back here!
so I can murder all of you! Where are your faces? Ugh! Ugh, Turtles uh -oh. 2! Uh oh no! My butt! Oh, boss. Right in the butt! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's I'm, it. Time for dodgeballs. That is it <laughs> for the night. I'm gonna disconnect. Let's all. And just. Uh, we're gonna Ooh, call thanks it. Thanks so much for an joining an us, Tenchi. I know yes. it was a. Uh, it's pretty casual, little chat and play. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I, I, um, I think casual is always a good thing. Um, it's more open for both the viewers and the guests and the hosts and stuff like that. Yes, it was. It was lots and lots of yeah, fun. Yeah. This is exactly what I would hope it would be. Where I just answer a couple questions here and there, and just mostly just to shoot the shit. <laughs> yeah, As yeah, no, I, I uh, thanks for having me on. It was, it was uh, quite a surprise to be included with. Uh, other wonderful individuals that you guys tweeted out. Mm -hmm. so I was uh, I was flattered. So well, honestly, always, always happy to help. You're, you're one of the more interesting people that uh, I've I've seen uh, on the uh, on the twitches. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I I love your streams. Thank I you. Mean, I've watched quite a few of them actually. Awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. So he's fangirling all over you. There, there you ah! go. It, it happens. <laughs> well, come to Pax I'm East. I'm so flushed. <laughs> Pax. I love to, but I went to Pax Prime. Yeah, yeah. Pa I still don't. That's one question. You're in California, and you're going all the way east. Yeah, it's that's okay <laughs> though. The the flight round trip's only uh three hundred and fifteen dollars, I think. Oh wow! So it's honestly it's honestly oh, not, not that bad. bad considering. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> average gamer and I are going to be trying to hit Pax Prime in September. Yeah, a little closer. Because yeah, it's... I mean they invited us, but we we're not sure if we want to you know go that big. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to, we're supposed to host a panel. I mean, Understandable. There's, there's gonna be like like four people there, so I mean... right, <laughs> right, right. You're gonna be up there with Our George Takei. Gonna be with George. Uh, I'm, I'm down. We're gonna be there with oh, William Shatner, George Takei, talking about our next project. I would actually. I, I think I'd love to meet George Takei. That I'm following him on Facebook. Oh, that guy is hilarious. Yeah, Very smart would... too. You know, if you just if you if you do a drawn out oh my, it might work. Do that. Do a drawn out oh my. Oh my. There it is. <laughs> That's not bad. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, he's he just he seems like a legit cool, intelligent person. Cool, legit, intelligent. So, what is he? Eighty years old now? Seventy, seventy-five years. I old? don't know. He's he's Asian, so he looks like he's twenty still. That's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so anyways, uh, thank you very much. Uh, on, yeah. uh, until next time, uh, we're on every Monday, 7 to 9 p.m. Um, and everything that you see here will be on YouTube uh, in the next couple days, so keep an eye out for that if you want to you know, d direct people to, the, uh, to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, just if, keep, keep track of what we're doing because uh, we have some interesting people lined up um, it's just a matter of. Uh, uh, I already mentioned one. If and when. There's one, and I do not want. I'm not going to say the name, but if we do manage to, to get them on, it will be amazing. <laughs> I'll tell you when the, the 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 stream is off, just so that it gives you an idea of what yeah, what we're sure, looking at. Sure, but sure. anyways, thank you very much, everybody, and uh, we will see you all next week. Hopefully, <laughs> have a good bye evening. Bye.